Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 16 of our course, which is uh, microprocessor systems and interfacing. And today's topic is nested loop. Okay, before we go to actual topic, there is one thing that we need to discuss and to understand. Uh, let's repeat an example. Uh, what we have already done in previous lecture, previous lecture. Uh, remember in last lecture, we discussed how one can perform uh, looping uh, and why looping is important. So if you remember in example one, we actually uh, added five times a value in working register. So let's redo the example. And this time we will be uh, uh, trying to understand uh, maximum size of a single loop and this term we will understand using a program okay let's discuss this program so first of all we need to know what this program is doing so this program is adding zero four hacks in working register five times so that's what we want to do with this program so let's understand this program one by one uh, line by line so first of all, what we did, we save move little to working D5. So we sent five value in working register. So after the execution of this first instruction, W will become equals to five, right? And then uh, what we did, move working file zero, zero hacks. So whatever the value present in the working register, we sent it to zero, zero hacks. So uh, if you remember, uh, there is a file register zero, zero hacks, right? And in that register, what we have done, we have sent 0, 05 right and now what we are going to do we are going to repeat this program uh, first of all we are clearing it first of all we are clearing it w is equal to 0 in this since line because move little to working 0 0 and then we are going to repeatedly repeat a rep repetitive addition of uh, 0 4 in working register and how we do it with this register with this instruction add little to working and what did we, what did we add? Zero four hacks. So here W will become zero four. So zero zero value will be added to zero four and that will become zero four. And this is the new instruction that we are learning. So this is very important instruction that we need to know. In this instruction, what this instruction do? This instruction decrement files. So what file we are talking about? This file. And this file address is basically having 0, 05 value. So after the execution of this instruction, what it will perform, it will uh, decrement it by one. So it will become 0, 04. And not only decrement will be happening in this instruction because this latter part have some meaning, right? This latter part, SZ. So it stands for skip next instruction if zero, right? So let me write it for you. Decrement file, decrement file this is the first part of the instruction and the next part is skip next instruction if z or if zero is equal to one z is basically representing what representing to uh, zero flag so that's what we have to do we know that zero flag will become one whenever uh, the last operation will result in zero and last operation is what last operation is decrementing file so we know that after decrementing file, this 0, 05 will be decremented by one and it will become 0, 04. So it is not equal to zero. That is why Z will not become equals to one. So this uh, instruction or this condition will become false. And what will be happening? Uh, uh, what will be happening? We will execute the next instruction. You know that if that condition will be true, we will, uh, we will skip the next instruction, but in this specific part or in this example uh, in this is example uh, it is not becoming equal to one so this next instruction will be executed and next instruction is what branch xyz so next instruction is unconditional branch uh, which jump which allow us to jump to xyz level and in xyz level we come back to this instruction so add literal to working is next instruction so what is going to happen zero four will be added once again right zero four will be added once again and what will happen in next instruction will go execute so decrement file so this zero four will become zero three right and again it will check skip the next instruction if 
zero flag is high, which is not the case because it is still zero three, not zero. So what will be happening? Next instruction will execute. It will it will force us to go to X Y Z level, and this time, so five times this instruction will get execute, and when five time addition will be happening, what will be going on? That this will become zero two, right? Then it will become one, and after five time it will become zero. So, when we will be doing this addition fifth time, what will be happening? Uh, the result uh, of the last operation would be zero. That means this condition z equal to one will be true. So this part will going to be in effect, right? So what will be happening? Not only decrementing will be happening, but this will. this condition will be true and this part will execute that means we will skip the next instruction and next instruction is what branch xyz so this instruction will be uh, skipped and what will happen we will uh, come out of the loop so this is another uh, way of creating a loop i hope you have understand last time we we used bng or some conditional statement along with some label but this time we are using uh decrement file skip of zero so this is one of the way by which one can produce a single loop right okay now we are going to discuss another important thing that we want to actually discuss in this lecture and that is the maximum size of the single loop so you know that the size of the loop this is a loop and this size is determined using this uh counter value and this counter value is right now in this case is what 5 so but here we need to know what can be the maximum value that can be feeded in this file register right we know that every register present in pic 18 f 452 microcontroller is around 8 bit right so this is all about all the register are 8 bit so maximum value which can be feeded must be of 8 bit so maximum value uh is basically 2 power 8 and that can be equal to 256 right and that means we will range from 0 to 255 so the maximum size of a loop that can you actually uh, perform in pic 18 f452 will be equal to uh, 255 so here we come to another problem uh, that if we want to repeat certain instruction more than 255 what should be the case or what should be the solution of the problem so we cannot uh, exceed this number right this number can't be exceeded so we have to look for a technique by which we can actually increase the size of loop right or size of looping or size of iteration so what is the solution let's go to the sol solution to this problem is nested loop right what thing nested loop and what is a nested loop so what is a nested loop nested loop is something uh, by which we can actually put all of this information right this is single loop and we want to put it into another loop right so to make it more comfortable let's rearrange let's rewrite this code in certain format so that it can be easily understood uh, once we are going to put that thing into another loop right so let me write let me reset some of the things accordingly okay what we are going to do we are going to repeat this complete or we are going to write this code this complete code inside another loop so let's create another loop let's say we make a loop of move literal to working and this time we use the maximum size of a loop 255 right and And then let's say we put it in into another file register. Move uh, working file, and this time we are using zero one hex for our uh, to store this value two double five, right? So what will be happening after this instruction? This two double five will be uh, stored in the inside this zero one hex, right? And what else we can do? We can actually Uh, store yeah decrement file yeah that is the thing let me write first then i will be able to explain you decrement file is kept zero and then zero one hacks okay now i have just reset this program and i have used two different loops and 
this is why it is called nested loop because one loop which is this one is nested inside another loop so let's see how this technique is working for us so let's dry run this program first of all what we are doing move little to working deed 255 so that means working register will become equals to 255 right 255 okay and then we are saving it to 01 register that means uh, this 01 file register will become 255 okay so it will become equal to 255 now what we are doing we are again saving a value to t255 i'm just repeating it at this stage it does need to be de defined but since we will be doing it for journal purpose so i'm using it uh, 255 okay let's change it let's change it for the case of uh, for every case right so yeah now i have changed it so it has become five so move little to working five so it will become equal to working register will become equal to five and that then what what is happening move working file to zero zero so this five is sent to zero zero hertz right and now what we are doing move little to working zero 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 hertz okay there is a yeah no so what we are doing we are clearing it right why w is equal to zero so and then what we did we did addition of zero four remember we were actually uh, adding zero four hacks in working register about five times that is the same code so it will add working register uh, it, it will add zero four hacks into working register then what we did we decrement a file zero zero hacks using this instruction so it will become four right and then uh, it will not skip the next instruction. That means this instruction is going to execute and it will jump to branch XYZ. So this loop will continue. And similarly, this loop, these instructions will be uh, looping about five times. And when, uh, when this counter will reset, so what will happen? This instruction, this, this will be, this instruction will become true because uh, this zero, zero register would have become zero and that means zero flag will be equals to one and then this condition will be true so we will be jumping toward this uh, we will we will be skipping this instruction and then moving towards this instruction which is decrement file skip with zero and in zero one uh, zero one hacks we have stored two double five so it will become what 254 and now what will happen it will again check whether zero flag is equal to zero or not but this will be zero equal to zero z is equal to zero because uh, it is not zero it is two double two five four which means uh, uh, this uh, in this particular instruction will not be false so what will be happening this next instruction will be executing and it will jump it towards label a b c so now what will happen instruction will be restart repeating from this part so whatever we have done in the first loop right uh, it will be uh, happening again let me clear some of the data or i can use a different color for this time so if, if what will happen this d will become this d will be initiated again d5 and it will go and restore in in working register then what will be happening uh, it will restored in this file register five and then uh, it, it will be added again five times then it will become again zero so this loop will be uh, repeating again five times and then it will switch to this command and this 254 will be again becoming 253 and then we will again switch to this instruction so that means of uh, zero four has been added to working register about 10 times because five times it was added when it was two double five right this was two double five five times more added when it has become 254 and it will keep repeating until this 254 253 252 251 and goes to zero so that means we are repeating uh addition of working addition of zero four hacks which is five times in inner loop and we are repeating inner loop around 255 times more so in total we are actually repeating this stuff more than 1250 right uh, it is a, just a random figure so we will be repeating this uh, complete procedure about 12 more than 1200 times right that means 
that means we can actually repeat any phenomena more than 255 times but we have to use nested loop uh, technique so let me uh, highlight again the loop that we are repeating okay this is what we want we were explaining that this inner loop there are two loop this inner loop is uh, repeating around five times right and this five is defined here which is stored in zero zero hex file register and th these instruction will be repeated around five times and you with this with the use of this loop what will be happening zero four hacks will be added in working register around five times right and furthermore this complete loop will execute uh, around 255 times more so total iteration would be five times 255 and that is equal to 1275 iterations so basically zero four hacks would be added in working register around 1275 times this is what the magic which can be done so you can further repeat this process uh, any number of time so that is how you can generate uh, any number, any possible number of uh, iterations using this nested loop command. So you can nest these two loops into another loop. And uh, that means you can create another nested loop for a number of times. So that means you can actually increase uh, this total number of iterations unlimitedly or indefinitely. So that means uh, uh, the problem that we had that there was a limited size of single loop, but which can be scaled to any number using this nested loop technique. I hope you have understand this concept. That's it from this lecture. If you have any question, please post them in comment section. Thank you so much for listening. Mm -hmm.